Silicon Valley is a region in Northern California that is a global center for high technology and innovation located in the southern part of the San Francisco Bay Area. It corresponds roughly to the geographical area of the Santa Clara Valley. The term Silicon Valley refers to the area in which high-tech business has proliferated in Northern California and it also serves as a general metonym for California's high-tech business sector. The cities of Sunnyvale, Mountain View, Palo Alto and Menlo Park are frequently cited as the birthplace of Silicon Valley. San Jose is Silicon Valley's largest city, the third largest in California and the twelfth most populous in the United States. Other major Silicon Valley cities include Santa Clara, Redwood City and Cupertino. The San Jose metropolitan area has the third highest GDP per capita in the world after Zurich, Switzerland and Oslo, Norway. According to the Brookings Institution, as of June 2021, it also had the highest percentage of homes valued at $1 million or more in the United States. Silicon Valley is home to many of the world's largest high-tech corporations, including the headquarters of more than 30 businesses in the Fortune 1000 and thousands of startup companies. Silicon Valley also accounts for one-third of all of the venture capital investment in the United States which has helped it to become a leading hub and startup ecosystem for high-tech innovation although the tech ecosystem has recently become more geographically dispersed. It was in Silicon Valley that the silicon-based integrated circuit, the microprocessor and the microcomputer among other technologies were developed. As of 2021, the region employed about a half million information technology workers. As more high-tech companies were established across San Jose and the Santa Clara Valley, and then north towards the Bay Area's two other major cities, San Francisco and Oakland. The term Silicon Valley came to have two definitions, a narrower geographic one referring to Santa Clara County and southeastern San Mateo County, and the metonymical definition referring to high-tech businesses in the entire Bay Area. The term Silicon Valley is often used as a synodoke for the American high technology economic sector. The name also became a global synonym for leading high-tech research and enterprises and thus inspired similarly named locations as well as research parks and technology centers with comparable structures all around the world. Many headquarters of tech companies in Silicon Valley have become hotspots for tourism. Etymology Silicon refers to the chemical element used in silicon-based transistors and integrated circuit chips which is the focus of a large number of computer hardware and software innovators and manufacturers in the region. The popularization of the name is credited to Don Hoffler. The first known appearance in print was in his article Silicon Valley USA in the January 11, 1971, issue of the weekly trade newspaper Electronic News. In preparation for this report, during a lunch meeting with marketing people who were visiting the area, he heard them use this term. However, the term did not gain widespread use until the early 1980s. At the time of the introduction of the IBM PC and numerous related hardware and software products to the consumer market, the urbanized area is built upon an alluvial plain within a longitudinal valley formed by roughly parallel earthquake faults. The area between the faults subsided into a garbage or dropped valley. Hoffler defined Silicon Valley as the urbanized parts of the San Francisco Peninsula and Santa Clara Valley. Before the expansive growth of the tech industry, the region had been the largest fruit producing and packing region in the world up through the 1960s with 39 fruit canneries. The nickname it had been known as during that period was the Valley of Hertz Delight History. Silicon Valley was born through the intersection of several contributing factors including a skilled science research based housed in area universities plentiful venture capital permissive government regulation and steady US Department of Defense spending leadership was especially important in the valley's early development together these elements form the basis of its growth and success the United States was more friendly than other countries to business investment, charging much lower taxes on capital gains. Since the Revenue Act of 1921 and featuring particularly loose free market controls over new business, 
In 1953, the Small Business Administration was created to foster startups, giving a boost to entrepreneurs. Northern California was even more welcoming with a group of venture capitalists actively seeking high-tech business ideas. Clustered on Sand Hill Road in Menlo Park and Palo Alto, California's civil code undermined the usual non-compete clauses that effectively tied employees to their companies in other states, allowing California workers to freely apply the knowledge they gain from their previous employer. This gave Silicon Valley an advantage over other American tech hubs such as Massachusetts Route 128 curving around Boston. Early Military Origins The San Francisco Bay Area had long been a major site of United States Navy research and technology. In 1909, Charles Herold started the first radio station in the United States with regularly scheduled programming in San Jose. Later that year, Stanford University graduate Cyril Elwell purchased the U.S. patents for Pulse and Arc radio transmission technology and founded the Federal Telegraph Corporation, FTC in Palo Alto. Over the next decade, the FTC created the world's first global radio communication system and signed a contract with the Navy in 1912. In 1933, Airbase Sunnywell, California was commissioned by the United States government for use as a naval air station to house the airship USS Macon in Hangar 1. The station was renamed Nash Moffett Field and between 1933 and 1947, US Navy blimps were based there. A number of technology firms had set up shop in the area around Moffett Field to serve the Navy. When the Navy gave up its airship ambitions and moved most of its West Coast operation to San Diego, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics took over portions of Moffett Field for aeronautics research. Many of the original companies stayed while new ones moved in. The immediate area was soon filled with aerospace firms such as Lockheed, which was the area's largest employer from the 1950s into 1980s. Role of Stanford University Stanford University's affiliates and graduates have played a major role in the development of the culture of collaboration among high-tech companies. A powerful sense of regional solidarity shaped the outlook of inventors and engineers in California, contrasting markedly from the insular and competitive environment of engineering firms on the east coast of the United States. From the 1890s, Stanford University's leaders saw its mission as service to the um, waste and shape the school accordingly. At the same time, the perceived exploitation of the waste and the hands of Eastern interest fueled boosters like attempts to build self-sufficient local industry. Thus, regionalism helped align Stanford interest with those of the area's high-tech firms. Frederick Terman, as Stanford University's dean of the School of Engineering from 1946, encouraged faculty and graduates to start their own companies. In 1951, Terman spearheaded the formation of Standard Stanford Industrial Park, now Stanford Research Park and area surrounding Page Mill Road, southwest of EMI, EI Camino Real and extending beyond Foothill Expressway to Arastred Road, where the university leased portions of its land to high-tech firms. Terman nurtured companies like Havlet Park, Varian Associates, Eastman Kodak, General Electric, Lockheed Corporation and over high-tech firms until what would become. Silicon Valley grew up around the Stanford University campus. Rise of Silicon In 1956, William Sockley, the co-inventor of the first working transistor, moved from New Jersey to Mountain View, California to start Sockley's semiconductor laboratory to live closer to his ailing mother in Palo Alto. Sockley's work served as the base for many electronic developments for decades. Both Frederick Terman and William Sockley are often called the father of Silicon Valley. Unlike many other researchers who use germanium as the semiconductor material, Sockley believed that silicon was the better material for making transistors. Sockley intended to replace the current transistor with a new three-element design, today known as the Sockley diode, but the design was considerably more difficult to build than the simple transistor. In 1957, Sockley decided to end research on the silicon transistor. As a result of Sockley's abusive management style, eight engineers left the company to form 
Fairchild Semiconductor softly referred to them as the Traitorous Eight. Two of the original employees of the Fairchild Semiconductor, Robert Noyes and Gordon Moore, would go on to found Intel. Following the 1959 inventions of the monolithic integrated circuit chipped by Robert Noyes and Fairchild, the first commercial MOS IC was introduced by General Microelectronics in 1964. The first single chip microprocessor was the Intel 4004 designed and realized by Federico Fagin along with Ted Hoff, Masatoshi Shima and Stanley Major at Intel in 1971.